Rick Fields for Cascade Sports. Guys, uh, state your name and your year and your, your position. Yeah. Raul Fisher Grace, class 2013. Center. Chris Carter, class of 2013. Guard. I was checking you out out there, man. You uh, got some pretty good handles, and you uh, you seem like one of the guys that they go to for, for some points, huh? Well, I'm one of the guys. We got multiple scores on the team. I want to say they just go to me for points. I just had the high hand tonight. So that's just how it worked out. I mean, we got multiple scores in our starting lineup, though. Everybody in our starting lineup can score equally. Just had the same type of night. So. I saw you banging up on the boys. What type of player do you think you are? Are you a, a, a roughhouse player, a finesse player, a slasher, or what? Uh, well. I got two, I would say I got two styles of the game. Defensively, rough, banging, hitting you, keep you out of the paint. Offensively, I can bang a little bit, but I like to be more finesse around the basket. Uh, can you demonstrate one of your moves for me, for the camera? All right. Can you, can you, can you All right, so, so one thing I like to do. Oh, you gotta get back, you gotta get back, right? All right, so. One thing I like to do, I got a defender right here. I give him, bang him once, bang him again, get him off his rocket. I spin. So for a little left hand hook. Just get him off his rocket. That's cash every time. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same question. Well, come on. You might say I got a little hesitation move I like to do, but. I don't think I just got a special move I go to every time. I like the hezzy though. The hesitation move. Yeah. yeah. I, like to, I like the crossover thing. Yeah. Okay. Michael Drew. Step back in the NBA. Was you a high point man for your team today? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Right. Wait, 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 how do y'all feel going toward the end of the season? Now y'all getting into some tougher teams. You know, how you think y'all gonna do? Yeah, our first three games. Well, we played a tough team in Lorraine. Lorraine was a pretty nice team, and Warrensville uh, was pretty good. But I think our biggest challenge would be Heights coming up on Tuesday. We play Cleveland Heights at Heights on Tuesday, and I think that'll be the toughest game of the schedule. And that's going to really show if we really battle tested or not, because that's probably the toughest team we got on our schedule. Okay. Uh, really, really, if we come out, we got Heights on Tuesday, like you said. If we come out and play defense to the best of our ability, we can run with anybody. Heights, Warrensville, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We're we play defense first. That's all right. Okay, uh, one more question. Uh, is there any player in college or pro that you guys pattern your game after? He said <laughs> Jared Sullinger, probably. Sullinger? Okay. Yeah. He got the big butt, huh? You don't have people. <laughs> How about you? Uh, well, LeBron is my favorite player, but I like I like Kobe on the small part and Carmelo. Oh my dudes! <laughs> my dudes! Does anybody uh, you guys want to give a shout out, a shout out to? Yeah. Um, I'm about to say, yeah. This senior, this is the uh, we not we not trying to uh, point out that we the only players on the team right now when we do this, but. We grew up together, and basically this is the big three right here. So starting with us, this is the big three. We give a shout out to ourselves, and then shout out. I want to shout out my mother, my father. I want to shout out Dominique Hopkins because all summer he helped me work on that game. All them shots that went in, that was all help from him. Uh, and everybody around me that support me, anybody who support me and tell me and help me do what I do, try to get my mind right before games. Anybody, the coaches. And Randy White especially. If it wasn't for Randy White, I don't know what I I say. Thank God for Randy White because I don't know how I'd be if I am. He's my AU coach. Yeah. Okay. Thank God for that man because he helped me out a lot. How about you? Uh, Probably, I just wanted to shout out like my mom, my dad, my boy Chris Carter for coaching me up. Very (laughs) champ. Very champ. Coach Priola for having the best hair (laughs) in the state. I'm everybody who didn't try to coach me up. Randy White, everybody who came out to support, because the crowd was our energy for some part of the game. Okay. Now, who hit the the shot that um, what was it that y'all was when y'all was tied to uh, to get ahead? Huge. That was you. Okay. Huge. Right. 
So uh, yeah. at the end of the game, you came through for him, huh? Yeah, I had to. I had to make up for the game I had. I had a terrible game. Some, somehow I just put it together and had to make up for my team. And like, and like I said before, he had a terrible game, but he had four players to step up for him because everybody – got players we all scores you know I my first game I had two points he had 12 Carl had 18 you know we 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 provide for each other exactly we ain't no selfishness here it's a it's a family and when we say family we mean family I can say no I and team huh no all right well thanks a lot guys uh congratulations on the win and uh, y'all have a successful season this has been Rick Fields for Cascade Sports and you can get this on cascadesports.tv